Hey guys, I'm Dan from Ishimoto. Today I'm going to show you how to install our new direct fit radiator for the 95 to 97 Ford F250. Check it out. To install the Mishimoto radiator into the 95 to 97 Ford F250, you will need Teflon tape, quarter drive ratchet, long extension, 8mm socket, 13mm socket, 3 8 drive ratchet, a 19mm deep socket, needle nose pliers, channel locks, coolant, and tool and funnel. Installation time is about two hours and is a three out of five on difficulty level. All right guys, once you've disconnected the negative terminals on both of the batteries and during the coolant, the next step is gonna to be to remove the upper radiator hose from the radiator. Next, remove the two eight millimeter bolts that hold the fan shroud to the radiator. Next, remove the overflow hose from the radiator. Next, remove the lower hose from the radiator. Once you remove the lower hose, remove the ancillary hose and the two transmission lines. Now let's move up to the top of the truck and remove the six 13 millimeter nuts that hold the radiator brackets to the front of the truck. Once you have all the nuts removed, you can pick up on the rest bracket and pull right out. Next, lift up on the fan shroud and then push it back toward the engine. This will unseat it from the radiator and then pull up on the radiator and that will remove from the truck. All right guys, now that we have the stock rad out of this truck, let's go ahead and compare it to the Mishimoto radiator. As you can see, the stock radiator uses plastic end tanks that are crimped onto an aluminum core, whereas the Mishimoto radiator is a full all aluminum construction with TIG welded tanks to the aluminum core. Before we can install the Mishimoto radiator into the truck, there's a couple of things we have to swap over from the stock rad. First is the upper overflow port. Once you remove the overflow port from the stock rad, if you notice that the threads look dirty, Go ahead and clean them with a wire brush or a wire wheel, and then wrap them up with Teflon tape, and then you can install it into the Mishimoto rad. Next, remove the lower ancillary port from the rad. Again, if the threads look dirty, clean them up with a wire wheel or a brush, and then wrap them with Teflon tape and install them into the Mishimoto rad. All right guys, once you have everything transferred over to the Mishimoto Raider, it's now time to install it into the truck. Next, reinstall the two upper radiator brackets and the six 13 millimeter nuts. Next, reinstall the two eight millimeter bolts that hold the fan shroud to the radiator. Next, reinstall the upper radiator hose to the radiator. Reinstall the overflow hose. Once you finish that, go ahead and reinstall the lower hose to the radiator. Next, reinstall the lower ancillary hose and the two transmission lines. All right guys, it's time to fill this F-250 back up. Remember to use a 50-50 mix of coolant and water. Now that we have the cooling system all filled up, we're going to go ahead and turn the truck on and turn the heat on high. That'll help remove any of the trapped air bubbles out of the cooling system. That wraps it up on the install. Take your truck out for a spin and enjoy your new Mishimoto products.